uh, about 10 on another, and then there's others as well, which is, you know, four fives. But the 25 one's the big one. That's my uh, most proud read so far. Hey. As I said, crypto's the future, man. It's, uh, technology is just too good. I think I hear the thing. I do. There we go. 300. Beautiful. The multitask in this character is so fucking good. Imagine another killer being able to do what I just did there. You can multitask so much. God, it's good. But yeah. Very bullish crypto. Always have been, as you know. Nice. I should play that really well. Made 900k off NFTs. If you did, you're, uh... Yeah, that's amazing. It's very rare to have done that. <laughs> I was feeling dead hard on her. Look at this pressure. <laughs> this killer is so good, man. You can see why I played him all day, right? I won't today, though, I promise. Variety, right? But this killer is really fucking fun. Play him while you can, guys, seriously. Play him while you can. Use this build, use these add-ons. Play him while you can. He will get nerfed. People will cry. Even though you need to play very well with him to do this, people will cry. Ironically, because they would say that kill is a crime. Look at this pressure. It's glorious. Bloody glorious. <laughs> Did they buff him? No, it's basically this build. Uh, with these add-ons. It's like this specific exact build. But if you use it, and you play well with it, uh, very, very good. He has really bad 1v1. I've always felt he has really bad 1v1. But with Engineer's Fang, it fixes it. Also, obviously, my chain uh, is got way better because of, you know, playing the killer. So that helps. But um, the Engineer's Fang, it does, does masses. An actual, this is what an actual viable killer looks like. This is how powerful you need to be against survivors who are nowhere near your level to be able to compete with survivors who are near your level, which obviously makes sense. You shouldn't be uh, losing near enough all the gens versus survivors who are nowhere near your level, should you? But that's kind of how DBD is with a lot of the killers. Because, uh, you know, the devs want every kill, uh, every survivor to kind of compete, even if they are way lower level than the killer they're going against. But obviously that hurts. Um, that hurts a killer when they're going against the same level players, right? <laughs> I love this build. I love that I don't have Rune Undying as well. Because you can't really rely on the devs uh, for them to fix totem spawns. If anything, it feels like the totem spawns have got worse. <laughs> So good. Golden blood. He's, he's now dead. The golden blood. He is now dead. Should have done that. Now I know where you are. So what you got? Nice. Pop 
Yeah, it does feel good playing a killer where you actually, um... You are the power roll. It really does. I'm, I'm gonna miss this. When we move on to the weaker killers. Nice. Definitely gonna miss it. When we play Gore's face and shit. Yeah. That's one thing what's actually kind of irritating as well. You know when you play the weaker killers, you get people being like, self-reflect on your game, work out what went wrong. And it's like, dude, I could have done anything. The tools aren't there. Like, the killer doesn't have the tools. Like, there's nothing to self-reflect on. When I play this guy, like, when I lose, I actually feel like it was me. Because I do have tools to fuck with. Uh, when I play these other killers who don't have any tools, it's like, dude, I can't do anything. <laughs> they need to make mistakes and they're not making mistakes. Like, I can't, I can't just, like, go into their head and, like, control them. <laughs> oh, well. The naivety of DVD. So I've enjoyed this guy so much. I've genuinely felt like I I can probably win 99 out of 100 games if I play well with this killer. Uh, killer. There's always going to be that team that you can't beat. You know, that four-man swift what just bashes gens like they're nothing. Um, but I think this guy has a lot of potential. Maybe, maybe, maybe 9 out of 10, I'll say. 99 out of 100 might be a bit too much. 9 out of 10. Nice. The skill's quite good. This girl was quite a good looper. She was probably carrying the team quite heavy. I have a feeling this is my first hook versa. Seeing how good she is at looping. And am I right? Yep. Kind of obvious. When you can see someone who's good at looping, you know you won't have got them yet. When there's uh, weaker loopers. Heard about the rumors for our no crossover. Yeah, I, yeah, I have. I know more about that than uh, most people now as well, because I learned something. But I don't know if I can say anything. Nice. La da 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 I've got quite a few NDAs on me right now, I'm not gonna lie. I saw a scratch of Arx, you run this way. I heard her for a second as well. She's running again to her. That would have been sexy as fuck. This is a stronger looper, as I said. Yeah, made sense. Could have hit them. It is in my power to hit them, it's just very difficult. But at least it's in my power.
Smart. Funny how when a survivor's good, they start showing the, uh, you know, the counterplay to the killer, but when they're bad, the killer side like they've got no counterplay. Funny, isn't it? It's almost like survivor's skill it makes a big difference. <laughs> Even though apparently it doesn't to some people. Uh, like Verse Death Slinger, for example. GG. Survived endgame chess, yep.